Hello Vikings, welcome to SVTV. I'm Haley Brandstetter. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Key Club will be selling candy this week during CLP to raise money for UNICEF. One dollar per bag. Seaman Volleyball is playing at Lanson this evening at 6 p.m. This week is Red Ribbon Week in honor of SAD. Join Seaman's Fine Art Booster Club before the fall play on November 12th and, get, and get four free tickets to the play and the spring musical. Picture retakes will be November 3rd and November 6th in the South Entryway from 7 to 2. Seaman FFA is selling poinsettias this year. Check Schoology for more information. Girls interested in trying out for basketball team should attend the meeting on Tuesday, October 27th and Thursday, October 29th at 1.15 in the East Commons. There will be an informational meeting for boys interested in swim on Tuesday, October 27th and the 29th at 1.15 in the West Commons. Quinn Staley and Allie Trier caught up with some students and staff to get their opinions on fall activities. There are many activities to do during fall. We caught up with some teachers and students to give ideas. My favorite thing to do during Halloween is definitely paint pumpkins because I get all my creative juices flowing. I really just like to watch Halloween movies. I mean, painting pumpkins is fun and all. But I like to watch Halloween movies a lot. I watched like five in like one day. I'd say that my favorite fall activity is carving pumpkins. I really like Thanksgiving. And then I also like making pumpkin pie. Probably have bonfires and roast marshmallows. Um, yeah, that or carved pumpkins. That one's good too. My favorite movie is Twitches. Period. Best Halloween movie ever. I like all the Hall Halloween Town movies, and then I watched Haunted Mansion for the first time in a long time, and that one, it's a classic. Okay, but I just watched this new Halloween movie on Netflix called Hubie Halloween. It's, I was very disappointed. My all-time favorites are Girl vs. Monster and Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Same. 100. We put a spell on you. Halloween, after the volleyball team gets a dub at State, we'll be coming back and me and Drew Baxter will be dressing up as the Cheetah Girls. <laughs> Still trying to decide what I'm going to dress up as. Also, is trick-or-treating happening? I don't know. I will be showing up to your door to ask for candy, so be prepared. But is it actually going to be happening? I don't know. But I'll be there. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there at your door, but that's it. I'm going to be Adnis from Despicable Me, and he's going to be the unicorn. <laughs> and this boy right here is going to be a taco, right? What do you think? <laughs> a pregnant, middle-aged woman. <laughs> uh, that was what I was going to be. <laughs> no, um, I think I'm probably going to dress up as a character from Harry Potter because uh, Miles is going to be Harry Potter this year. So it would just be maybe like a family costume. Fall is my absolute favorite season of all time. And if it could be fall all the time, with the exception of Christmas, if it could be fall all the time, I would be so happy. Ditto. <laughs> okay. Now to Zoe for your weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. All the snow has officially moved out of the area, and the only type of precipitation we are seeing is a drizzle on and off here and there, which are going to make our roads very, very slick, so make sure to use extra caution when driving. We are going to be warming up quite a bit more today than yesterday, as our temperatures will not be staying in the 20s, and we'll be reaching up into the mid-30s area. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, as I said earlier, we are going to be warming back up and we are going to be reaching up into the 50s and 60s by this weekend and those temperatures will stick around for next week. Now back to your anchor. 
Madison and Savannah learned more about the students that created the Unsung Hero Art Project. On October 6th, AP Art Class presented the Unsung Hero Project to Mrs. Simons, who is the Unsung Hero of 2020. Here's what the project is all about. We, this is an annual project that we do for a lot of different reasons. Number one is the importance of honoring, you know, deserving people in our school community who are unsung heroes, people that do amazing things but really receive no recognition. Um, two, from a teaching standpoint, it's a really important project to develop a culture in that class and allow those students to work together collaboratively, which is very tough as an artist, and have those conversations that later build community and allow us to later critique really well when we have critiques. There were a total of nine students who worked on the project. I interviewed two students about their experience on the project. It affected me because obviously this is a really big project. Um, so it took a lot of time away from other things, but I really bonded with my classmates and it was, it was a really fun experience, I'm glad we did it. So in the end, I do like the, do like the project. I liked how it turned out and it's really cool to see what we could do so far apart. But like during the process, I kind of didn't like it just because it was stressful because we didn't know like how anything was gonna turn out and it was a lot of unknowns. So during the process, I didn't really like it, but when we got the final project and everything was set in stone, I really liked how it turned out. This year's artist gave advice to the upcoming new artists next year. My advice for next year's students would be to try to make friends with their classmates as much as you can and work together. Even if you don't agree on something, try to make the best out of it and just be cohesive and be nice. So hopefully you don't have to do all the remote stuff and do everything distance, but if you would, um, just embrace the risk, embrace the unknown, uh, do your best that you can, and just trust the other people in your class. But if you do get to do the project together, I would say try to find some way to make it like your own and unique to your class like we added the splashes of color in here and that kind of makes it unique to our class so try to find something that would do that would be my best advice overall the unsung project came out amazing and the ap art class cannot wait to represent someone new next year that's all for today vikes